This video is about isometric projection. We are going to start with a cube. Isometric projection has three dimensionality to it and it also has the same scale on each of the three axes. A cube looks like this in isometric projection. This corner right here lines up with the axis of the camera and diagonal through the cube lines up with the axis of the camera. And what you can see here is this. With this cube is the six edges right here form an approximate regular hexagon. Let's draw an isometric. First of all, draw a horizontal with a vertical, and then let's draw arcs like this. Divide the arcs into approximately thirds and then draw a line through, let's say this is 2 o'clock, and let's say this is 10 o'clock. All right, we don't need these lines anymore. Now, this then is an angle of 30 degrees. It is important that you keep this angle of 30 degrees and that it is not 45 degrees. Then what I want you to do is this, is to continue these lines like this. All right, okay. Now what we'll do is this, is we're going to choose our unit of measure. Let's say this is one unit right there. I am going to then draw a line parallel to this line, this axis, like that. And the point that these two lines intersect then is another corner of the cube. So now I draw a vertical line. And notice that I am now rotating the paper. And you rotate the paper to keep your wrist in a neutral posture like this. Okay, so what we have is an approximate regular hexagon. And you can darken the edges like this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a cube that is drawn in isometric projection. Now, let's do this. Let's draw a circle in isometric projection. A circle would look like an ellipse. So do you see how this looks like an ellipse? Mathematically, that is a pure ellipse. And so let's use the eight-point method for drawing an ellipse as we did for a circle. So let's draw the long axis or major axis like this. This is the minor axis. Notice that these are perpendicular. Then at the center point, let's draw the lines, vertical and this 30 degree line that are parallel to the axes. What are our eight points for a circle, for an ellipse in this case? Well, we have the four tangent points. And remember last time I showed you, you take each half diagonal and estimate the thirds, like that. And then you make a mark on the two-thirds. Those are the eight points of our ellipse. Then what I do is I then lightly sketch along the long arc the two ends like this, and then also I come like this. Now, the ellipse does not have to go exactly through this point, but it's just a estimate of where it should go. All right, now what I'm going to do is darken the ellipse and go like that. I'm going to rotate the paper. And that is an ellipse that represents a circle. So in other words, if you are looking at the cube like this, you see the ellipse? That is the ellipse on the cube. Now what I'm going to do is to draw an ellipse on the other two sides.
Okay, what I have drawn here then is a cube with ellipses on all three sides. It's as if you were to look at this. You can see ellipses on all three sides. Now, what can you do with this? Well, you can do some really interesting things, like for instance, you can draw cylinders. So, for instance, let's say I have a cylinder that is one unit diameter by three units long. This is how I would draw it. This is my one unit. Notice I'm going to now draw these lines, these that are parallel to the axes, and I am multiplying the squares. So, it is important that you keep these axes parallel because we're not doing conversion. If they start to converge, that means it is perspective and we're not doing perspective. So what I can do then is here is to draw an ellipse And then, at the back end of this, I can draw another ellipse. All right, and if this were a cylinder, it would look like this. And notice this ellipse is not perfect back here, but that's okay. We can make an adjustment. And so now we have a cylinder that is one unit diameter and is three units long. What I have just done is to draw this cylinder and I've added some shading here because my light source is coming from approximately 10 or 11 o'clock right there. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw an isometric of this. This is an Office Depot eraser. Let's take some measurements right here. This is one, and it is one, two, three, four, five. Five units long. So let's draw an isometric like this. It's going to look something like that. So very simply, I'm going to draw a horizontal line, a vertical line. I need my axes. This is an isometric of the Office Depot eraser here. And notice that 
It does not have true shape. This has two of the three attributes. This is three-dimensional. This has the same scale on the axes, but it does not have true shape. That is the end of this video, and thank you very much.